Hi, welcome to learnhowtogarden.com. On today's episode, I'm going to explain to you how to plant out celery to get a fantastic crop. If you're not already subscribed to me at Learn How To Garden, there's a link appearing just here on my right. Click on that, go to the website, input your email address, and it means you get the free monthly newsletter, you get access to the written blog posts, and it also means we can let you know each time we put up a new film. Celery is one of those plants that I get asked quite a lot of questions about in that a lot of people have problems with it. It bolts, that means it goes to seed. If we actually look here, this is a leak that's going to seed. These leaks have been left purely to produce seed for me. Um, oh, and it tends to bolt for one of two reasons. Either it's planted out too early and it's cold and not hardened off properly, or it doesn't have enough water. And celery needs really humus rich soil. It needs soil that has a lot of ability to hold water. Naturally, it's, n it's naturally um, been evolved from a wild plant that grows in the boggy margins on rivers. And that should give you an idea that it does need a decent soil. And where I've chosen to grow it is in this no dig bed that's a few years old now. And if we just turn this soil, which as we say, it's a no-dig bed, but you can see it's quite a humus-rich soil. And celery also likes nitrogen. So before I plant out this celery, the first thing I'm going to do is to scatter some coffee grounds onto this bed and I'll rake those in. And that's because the nitrogen, the free nitrogen in this coffee will be available uh, in a few weeks and that is just the perfect time that the celery will need a nitrogen uptake. Thus coffee is a naturally occurring substance. It's hard to overdose on it so we're going to use a few decent handfuls just on here. For the rest of this film my hands are going to be absolutely filthy. Coffee grounds are best used within a couple of weeks. Just work that into the surface before anybody asks me, this is called a Van Linden cultivator. It's just a little spiky handheld cultivator, which is fantastic for doing this. The celery we've got here was sown in February time, and it was sown very deliberately into this module. And that's because if I turn the module over, I can show you that there are nine plants here and it's sown in a block and you need to plant celery in a block. Originally celery used to be planted in a trench and the trench was earthed up to blanch the stems. This is the self-blanching variety and what we need to do is we plant it in a block so that the outside helped to blanch the inside and they need to be about nine inches or 20 centimeters apart which is the length of this trowel. And it's just a matter then of taking our celery, dropping it in so that the level of the plant is level with that soil surface. I'll put the nine in and then I'll show you what to do next. Once they're planted in in a block, you just water them in well, but it's very important that they don't dry out during the growing season. That's what will cause them, as we've said, to bolt. They'll also become quite stringy and much, much sort of um, harder to digest. So remember the trick with celery is it likes a nice nitrogen feed and it also likes to be kept moist throughout the growing season. Not wet and boggy, but evenly moist. The problem you can get though is that if it's dried out while it was a seedling or if it's had a shock because it's not been hardened off, it will actually bolt but you won't know that obviously till much much later in the season. And as this grows, the actual child on my right here, that will be cropped soon, it's coming to the end of its life, it's probably got one more sort of crop out of it. Again a fantastic plant, brilliant spinach substitute and the celery will just grow. Very few pests associated with celery. It's just getting the conditions right to grow it in. And a no-dig bed is the perfect way to grow celery.